Hello folks, welcome to today's demonstration video of my eShop project. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to design a UI of a single product view page. So without further ado, let's get into this. As you can see, I am currently on the home page of our eShop. To go to the single product view of a product, we have to click on the buy now button of that specific product. So now I am clicking on buy now button of this iPhone 13 Pro. Alright, now we are seeing the single product view of that. First, let's see the responsiveness of this page to larger and smaller display resolutions. I am currently viewing this page on a larger display resolution. So this is the view that we are getting as you can see. Let's see the view of it on a smaller display resolution. Alright, now I am decreasing the display resolution virtually. This is the view of it on a smaller display resolution. As you can see, now it has a more compact view to fit on that smaller display resolution. Enough of that, now let's inspect our UI. You can see our familiar eShop header section like this. Then you can see our familiar footer section on the bottom of this page like this. You can see our product images here like this. There are three of them as you can see. If you wanna see a much zoomed in view of them, you can click on them like this. This square here is showing the bigger view of them. We can see kind of a breadcrumb design here like this. By clicking on here we can go to our home page back. This place is showing the title of currently weaving product like this. This is the title of our product as you can see. This section is showing the ratings of our product like this. We can see the score of stars and other related things there. This is the actual current price of the product. This place is showing the previous price. It's line through and showing in red like this. This place is showing the price and the percentage that the buyer is saving. This place is giving details about the warranty period of the product. This place is showing return policies regarding that product. This place is showing the available quantity of these product items. This place is showing the name of the seller. This is the first name of the seller. Then here's the last name. This place is showing how many items were sold by that seller. This place is showing about a currently going on promotion. It says stand a chance to get 5% discount by using Visa or Mastercard to do your payments. We can set the quantity of product items that we are buying on this field. We can just straight up type on this field or use these arrows to set the value. If we are trying to set a value lower than 1, these codes are giving an alert as you can't set a value that is lower than 1 as the quantity. If we are trying to set a value that is exceeding the available quantity, this is giving an alert as value that you are trying to set is exceeding the available quantity. This green color button here is a buy now button as you can see. Then this blue one is a add to cart button. Then this one is a add to watch list button. We can see it with the heart icon like this. The section here is showing some other products related to currently weaving product. Finally, this section by the bottom of body area is showing product details. This place is showing brand of the product. Then this place is showing model of the product. This text area here is showing further details of the product. Let's see design codes of the UI of this page. So now I'm going to VS code. I'm currently viewing the single product view.php as you can see. To keep this running in the state it should be I'm linking some other files inside of it. First inside of these head tags I'm linking bootstrap.css then bootstrapicons.css then now own style.css file. Then by the bottom of these body tags, I am linking bootstrap.bundle.js file and I want script.js file. Then inside of this PHP script, I am including our header part.php file. Then inside of this PHP script, I am including our footer section.php file. You can see many bootstrap classes inside of this PHP file like this. This is because we are almost completely designing this UI with the help of Bootstrap CSS framework. 
we are adding a class like this and stylizing it from the style.css side. Then these are the codes of our product image weave-in section. You can see image fields of this section like this. These are the codes of zoomed in image weaving square. We are adding a class like this and stylizing it from the style.css side. These are the codes of that breadcrumb design on our page. These are the codes of product title weaving section. Then these are the codes of product ratings weaving section. For the stars we are using an icon that was provided by Bootstrap. These are the codes of product price weaving section. This part is showing actual current price of the product. These codes are showing the previous price of the product. It is showing with light blue and with red color text. These are the codes of saved amount and percentage showing section. Then these are the codes of warranty details showing section. Then these are the codes of return policy showing section. Then these codes are showing the available item quantity of a product. Then these codes are showing seller's name. Then these codes are showing number of seller's previous sellings. Then these are the codes of ongoing promotion details weaving section. We have set a picture for that section using this image field. These are the codes of quantity of buying item setting field. We are adding some of our own classes like these and stylizing them from the style.css side. These are the codes of buying quantity setting input field. These are the codes of value increasing and decreasing arrows. These are the codes of buy now button. Then these are the codes of add to cart button. Then these are the codes of add to watch list button. For the heart icon inside of it we are using an icon that was provided by Bootstrap. Then these are the codes of related items weave in section. Then these are the codes of product details weave in section. These codes are showing the brand of the product. These codes are showing the model of the product. Then this text area here is showing the description of the product. We are adding a read only attribute to this text area because we are not letting buyers to edit this. So folks that's all I have to explain in this video. Stay tuned for the next one. See ya.